Welcome to the Where's the Focus podcast. WTF is an entertaining yet educational ride with top guests from every industry. Knowing where your focus goes, your energy flows. Hosted by top selling author, sought after speaker, leading coach, and high level executive in the financial industry, Daniel Manginelli. So, WTF. Welcome back to the WTF Where's the Focus podcast. Jen, <laughs> dude, I liked your new streamlined introduction. It was nice, wasn't that it? That was legitness. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was legitness, Jen. You're legit. I don't like listening to the sound of my own voice. Oh, <laughs> I get to hear it in my headsets oh, right gosh. now, and it's dreamy, dreamy. <laughs> Great job. Yay Thank for you. Jen. All those comments come in and say, yay for Jen. Well, here we go. As we move through January, and there's so many people talking about the economy, the recession, interest rate, costs of goods, bear markets, bull markets, are the Fed rising interest rates, cost of goods. I can keep going and going and going and going. But here's the word perception comes to mind. More than any word. Um, I do a lot of reading in the morning. I read about the market, uh, interest rates, real estate. And I realized besides the data for the weeks past or the year over year or years past, all those numbers are just a prediction, a prediction of the future and a perception of the person writing that article. Now, that's not to say that they're not educated predictions. There's no doubt about it. But they're just perceptions of the individual writing the article. Now, if you were just to look at the real estate predictions for 2023, according to 10 respected sources, and I, I believe they're respected sources. So if you're just 11 responses, when you ask, what is the market going to do in, 2000, in 2023, I'm just going to give them to you. Realtor.com, the economist team at Realtor.com predicts that the median sales price of existing homes will rise 5.4% in 2023. It's exciting. But CoreLogic says the real estate data from the predicts that the U.S. home prices will rise only 2.8% in 2023. Now, NAR, the National Association of Real Estate, the trade group that predicts existing home prices are poised to raise only 1.2%. Well, Freddie Mac says their forecast for the U.S. home prices is falling 0.02%. Well, Mortgage Bankers Association, their latest forecast on the U.S. home prices is it's going to fall 0.06%. But the Zillow economists um, at the home listing site, forecasts that the U.S. values will fall 1.1%. Well, Redfin, that same firm, says the baseline forecast predicts that the median U.S. sales price is going to fall 4% in 2023. Well, Wells Fargo, the bank's forecast model, says it's going to fall 5.5%. Goldman Sachs, the investment bank, expects home prices to decline 5 to 10%. Hmm. Keller Williams, Ruben Gonzalez, the chief, chief economist at Keller Williams, uh, expects median sales prices that are tracked is going to fall 10% in 2023. And then KPMG, the big four accounting firm, expects U.S. prices that are measured by Kay Schiller is going to fall 20% in 2023. Wow. So, so which one is it? Is it, is it Realtors.com prediction that real estate prices are going to increase 5.5% in 2020, or is it KMP, KPMG's forecast of a declining prices of 20% in 2023? Crazy. Well, I believe it's the one that fits your agenda. Let me explain. Because your perception of another person's perception becomes your reality and allows you to justify why you are doing or not doing any of the things that you're supposed to take action on. That's the agenda that you get to relate to, and you repeat it. Right? You repeat it and let people know that this is now your perception too. Because this is what someone said, either at wherever it was at Zillow or wherever it was at, at Realtor.com. This is now your perception. Think about it. Think about your agenda that you want. When you're on Instagram and you look for shoes, you constantly get pushed shoes because you're pushing that agenda or a political view. You put something about your political view. They continually send you stuff on that and that becomes your belief of the political view because that's the agenda you have. Conspiracy theories, if you go Google whatever one it is of, of whoever or whatever, of aliens or whatever, you're going to get pushed that and you start your perception becomes your reality because you get pushed that agenda. It's the same thing here. Look, I don't have a crystal ball about the real estate prices, interest rates, stock markets, the feds are going to do in 2023. What I do know is that I have to stay true to what I believe. Every market has its ups and downs. And I have to choose to continue to take the activities that I know work in any market to gain market share. 
If you're in sales and you're listening to this, you just don't stop selling. You might have to work a little harder and smarter in a down market, but you can't stop just because of a perception that you read that follows the agenda that you want. So this week, rather than allow someone to tell you what you kind of already know, focus on you, your actions, your commitment, your goals. It's easy to find fault in every situation. The achievers quiet the noise and stay true to their actions. There are many that get to find their careers that do way better to gain market share in what they call down markets. So who will you be when the predictors or the perception or the media news changes? They're, they're going to change their tune at one point in time, right? Is that when you can decide to commit? I hope not. Do what you know works and continue to do it. And don't allow anybody's perception or predictions change from what you truly believe and you know what works. Do what works. Look, if you want any of the links of the companies that I just talked about, of all putting them together in one kind of format, um, send me a message and I'll send them to you. But make them to your advantage, not to compromise your action. Don't use KPMG's 20% reduction to say, that's why I'm not choosing to work. Or you can go the other way and take the person who said it's going to increase 5.4%. That's up to you. Don't let it compromise your actions just by having predictions and perceptions of people writing an article. Interesting, Jen? Was that interesting? Yes, yeah. thank you. Was it, did yeah. you? I'm yeah. trying to figure out what my perception is, my true perception, <laughs> and not being influenced by these other sites. Because you, like you said, you can find 11, and each one will give you something different. Yeah, 11, 11, different, 11 yeah. different sources that were reputable people. It was not that we were reputable people. That is such a big difference. Yes, from, it's a big difference. From a decline in 20% to an increase in 5.5. Yeah, that's so a big where, difference. What, which, we don't know. That's that's the key, Jen. So right. I'm glad that you. Thank you. I'm glad you're listening. Thank you for that. I'm, I'm, I'm more <laughs> excited that you're actually listening, not looking at the board, just looking to push buttons. I'm, that's what made me more excited. I won today. Today was a, the resolution was to listen to Dan when he does a podcast. <laughs> this is the best day ever. Hey, for questions or if you just want to give me your take on this week's podcast, please, I'm open. If you've got a better perception or prediction or have something, I am open and I love to hear them. I might change my mindset, but I'm open to anything to give me more information without a doubt. Email me at dan at manginellegroup.com. Dan at M-A-N-G-I-N-E-L-L-I group, G-R-O-U-P dot com. Hey, listen, be the best no matter what the circumstances. And I'll see you next week, my WTFers. So go out, have fun, and make dreams come true.